Welcome to another Altera Central technical video. In this video, we're going to take a look at bringing in LAS files or point cloud data into ArcGIS Pro and doing it properly so that the spatial reference is maintained. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so I've got Pro open. I've got a map open, but I also want to bring in a scene, a local scene, because it's a projected state plane coordinate system. So we're going to go ahead and bring that in. And then we're going to navigate to the folder that we've unzipped. And then what you have to do is you actually have to set the coordinate system in the LAS. So even though you have this TXT file that tells me that it's Texas South Central 4204, I actually have to set it. So I'm going to go to Properties and Source. Now, I've already set this, but yours would be blank. And so the quickest way to find it I like using the EPSG code of 6588. So change system, search 6588, enter. That's the only one. And then for the Z, um, I use NAVD 88 height feet US. And if we wanted to look at the details of that, it's EPSG code 6360. So you could also type that in, 6360, enter. And that's the only choice. Once you've set the horizontal vertical, then you just simply drag it in and it'll zoom to the extent based on the coordinate system and the, the data frame for the scene will automatically assume that system. So I can call this X7 data. And then here we are in pro with the data. We can go to the layer, highlight it. And then up here on the context tab, LAS data set layer. And we could say, you know, we want to see everything. I know there's 23 million points roughly in this, so we can max that. Of course, that'll take more resources. And then, of course, we can change the density to display everything at, at max. You can also pause here if you want to, you know, toggle something and then redo it. So I'm going to keep it paused. I'm going to go to elevation for the symbology. And I also like to use classified elev elevation. So uh, and I also prefer to use geometric interval. And we'll just try like seven classes. Then I can close this and hit or unpause. So we'll let this render here. And then we'll, we'll also take a look at the data in the map if we want. But first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the symbology and adjust that down because the point size is fairly big. So we'll go ahead and take care of that first. I also like to adjust to elevation classified versus elevation and set the number of classes perhaps to seven or something. And if we go over to the map view, it's the same way, right? But in the scene view, I can actually look at this in three dimensions, right? If we look at the properties of the layer, you'll see number of points, units, um, the extent, and of course the corresponding spatial reference, which the data frame has adopted. Let's go ahead and set intensity as our symbology. So we'll go into the symbology, you know, from elevation to intensity. So if you have intensity, we could actually do it that way. So you can display intensity. You could also do color coded intensity by just changing the, the color ramp here. So I think that will wrap it up with respect to bringing in a last point cloud into ArcGIS Pro. Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Until next time.